My name is Polly. I'm a sophomore at East Mech. Um, I'm an all-around athlete. I play football, and this season I play running back, fullback, linebacker. Um, I'm looking into going to rugby, but I also play baseball, and I wrestle. I live with my sister, her four kids, and her husband. And my sister works pretty often, so I'm usually at home taking care of the kids, helping out. It's been a little bit more difficult this year because I have um, a lot of things that I have to do in school, outside of school. But I always stay home with the kids whenever I, I have to. I cook them breakfast on the weekends, um, take them to the park that's not too far away from our house. Um, and, you know, I just do whatever that I can because I've learned for myself that it's important to have someone there to, to help you grow. I came here from the Democratic Republic of the Congo when I was four years old, about 11 and a half years ago. My mother still lives in Congo, um, you know, that's, that's an aspect where I have to deal with every day because a lot of people, you know, have their mothers or, you know, but I don't have her every day. I had to learn how to adapt myself. And, um, and I had to trust teachers, you know, anyone that, that was there to really help me to um, develop as, a, as an individual. There's been a lot of challenges growing up um, as a foreigner because in school, when people found out that I was from Africa, they'd make clicking noises. Like, oh, is that your language? No, it's not my language. You know, they're like, oh, did you have clothes in Africa? Did you walk in the forest? Like, no, I had a house. It was a nice house. Things like that that, that people really said um, that really hurt me. In CCSJ, I found the ultimate family. You know, I found people that really relate to some of my struggles. CCSJ has also made me able to look at the potentials that I have within myself to be a leader. CCSJ has really helped me to experience things that I've never thought I'd been, be able to experience. Um, I've been on TV twice. Twice. <laughs> and I even spoke on, um, on the radio, on NPR News, um, about bullying, you know. And I've been able to go to a lot of rallies, a lot of camps, a lot of meetings. And we went to D.C., the March on Immigration. I got to go to the Lincoln Memorial, and I stood where Martin Luther King stood. And, you know, it was really big for me because I got to see the place where the, the pioneer for change in our community, in our society, you know, he stood there. So I was really grateful for the opportunity. I walk because I wish to see social injustice be eliminated one step at a time. Um, on April 17th, this is your opportunity to come out and support me. So, be there.